supposed to be a joyous occasion for the bride and groom, but what happens when things don't go quite as planned? Here to tell us more is artistic director Edward Cofield and Jessica Kadish, who is an actor with the New Jewish Theater's latest production, I Now Pronounce, right? Hello, Sarah. Good hey, to see Sarah. you. Hello, Edward. Good to see you as well. It's always a pleasure to have you here at STL TV. And it's my pleasure to be here. You took me away from my desk, which is perfect. Oh, I'm so sure. I, I doubt you sit behind a desk too much. <laughs> Not very much. It's true. Especially right now, you're in like the, your last production of the season. You're directing right. the play. Right. Jessica, have you seen him at a desk? No. Yeah. Well, it there you go. Only often. at the director's table. Yeah. So we're good to get. It's good to get you away from the theater, good. perhaps, good, and, yeah. and and here to talk about the show yeah. um, that's opening in just a couple of days. Yeah. So we uh, this play originated two years ago at the Actors Theater of Louisville Humana Festival, which is a new play festival. It got a great deal of attention, and somebody called me and said, "You should look at this because it's about a Jewish wedding." And I was, and the truth is, I love weddings. Just Edward loves weddings. Yeah, yeah. And I read it and I thought, oh, this is great. It's kind of the wedding where everything goes wrong. Because the very first thing that happens is the rabbi drops dead. Oh, my. And so there's just yeah. pandemonium ensues. Yeah. And, it, and they, the bride and the groom start questioning about, well, is the marriage valid? Is our relationship valid? And there's flower girls running around being troublesome. And the, the, the bridal party has probably had a little too much to drink. Yeah, a little bit too much. So here, yeah. here the bride is right here, Jessica Kadish. Yes. So yeah, so you, so has this been a ton of fun? Oh, it has been the most joyful process. We're dancing, we're singing backstage, waiting for our cues. We're running around, pandemonium, mm. as you say. It's every crazy wedding story you've ever heard. Yeah. Oh, I was at this wedding and this wild thing happened. Yeah. All stacked on top of one another. They just keep getting crazier and crazier, spinning out of control. Yeah. And every minute is just more fun than it the last. It sounds hilarious. Is it funny? It's really or is it funny. tragic? Or both? Or it's all? a little it's, bit of both. Yeah, it's both. It, I think it's sort of, um, you know, directors tend to be a little too lofty. The play really is, uh, on some level, maybe an indictment of marriage. Mm -hmm. But I think you won't realize that till you're driving home. I hope you don't realize <laughs> it till you're driving home. And all you've done is laugh for nine minutes. Right, years. right, right. So at the end of it, people who are yeah. the engaged couples in the audience still want to go through with it. Yes, Let's yeah, I think right. so. Okay. Yeah, yes. I think in the end, uh, we sign off on marriage is okay. Yeah, yeah. So the fact that it's a Jewish wedding. So in the, it's the new Jewish theater. I know you tend to right. have plays that have a certain right. Jewish spin to them. How is a Jewish wedding different from another, a, a different wedding? Uh, ritualistically, wedding? Uh, they are a little different. But, you know, they frequently do not happen in, in uh, synagogues. They, they happen in any number of places. Mm. Did, was your marriage in a synagogue? It was in an event space. Right. So, okay. which is exactly what, that's, what happens in the play. Okay. Um, and there is some ritual involved with a Jewish wedding. And some of that is alluded to in our production, and some of it is not. Okay. Okay, got it. So the entire play itself is the wedding, the right. wedding day. The wedding and what should be the reception, but which has sort of taken a twist since the rabbi died. Oh, yeah. So but, what happens? Is there a stand-in? Does somebody come in? Well, well, see, well, no, that, we, that's we, what you're going to find okay, out. Wait, no spoilers. Yeah, right. I shouldn't no answer. spoilers. Yeah. Okay, but Jessica, since you've been married, obviously, um, yeah. in real life, um, Anything in your own wedding experience that is similar to what you're um, enacting on the stage? Honestly, in terms of the specificity of the ritual, my wedding was, was quite different. But the sense of the thing that's really interesting about this play to me is the fantasy versus reality of getting married. So what mm -hmm. do we think marriage means versus what does it actually mean mm -hmm. to commit the rest of your life to another person? Is it about the party that day? No, it's actually about... 50 years into the future and the party at the same time. And so that push-pull between the two is really interesting. And that's what's going on in the script, too. You, yeah, you, you that's feel that. That's what's fun as an actor is, mm. in this moment, am I in love with the person I'm about to marry, or am I freaking out that maybe this isn't the right idea? Yeah, yeah. Or all, or all of that. Or all of that yeah, at the same time. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, OK, well, we're going to um, hear a little bit more about this excitement in just a few minutes. And even more exciting, well, maybe not more exciting, but just as exciting, <laughs> is next year's yeah, um, season. 2019 so, 2020 yeah, so um, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back and um, talk more about that. So stay with us at STL Live. We'll learn more about I Now Pronounce and the New Jewish Theater after this break.